I know many of us love working with crystals, but a lot of times I've noticed that people are not charging their crystals with the right energy to get the right amplification or the right energy out of their crystals. So one of the things I have found is most people don't charge them and it's kind of like really set your crystal with a mission. What is the mission that you want the crystal to do? Because really, if you ever look at a crystal book, they have so many different aspects of our life that they can really assist us with. This could be, you know, anything from finding a new relationship to finding a new job, taking care of anxiety or stress or whatever else. So it's like this huge, big plethora of things that it could be helping us with. But it's like, what do you require your crystal to help you with? And that's when you really get a great way of setting the energy into that crystal, setting that mission, setting that mission in that crystal so you have the right energy coming back at you. When you're about to charge your crystals, one of the best things to do is to cleanse them. And one of the easiest ways to cleanse them is putting them in sunlight or moonlight for about 24 hours. Now, I will kind of give you a little side note to that is you wanna make sure that the sign that the moon is in or the sign that the sun is in is very compatible with you. Once you do that, placing your stone where it's going to get a good amount of moonlight or a good amount of sunlight for about 24 hours and then you're going to charge it. The next way you can cleanse your crystals is by putting them on a selenite wand or a selenite plate or you can put it on with a quartz crystal and that's going to help clear out any of that old negative energy that it's picked up or anything else that's like nice and shiny clean just for you. Now the next way that you can cleanse your crystal before you charge it is by putting it in the ground. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. Like you can literally put it on the ground and just cover it up with a light soil uh, covering and that will cleanse it out. Usually it takes about a good 24 hours to do that or you could do it in a natural method. You could put it on a, a pot, um, a plant, and you wanna make sure that the plant is growing and producing. Um, if it's a rose plant or anything else that you wanna make sure that it's growing and blooming and that sort of thing. You don't want it a plant that's dying. After you've cleansed your crystal and it's all ready to go, what you wanna do is you wanna place your crystal, whatever crystal you have, you wanna place it between your hands, however you wanna do that, and you want to repeat the same words a couple of times. Like you want to charge it with, like I'm choosing to ask my stone to remove negative energy from me. Um, anybody's negative energy that comes around me, I'm asking for it to pick up and clear out or clear the person out of my path that could be responsible for this negative energy. Once I do that um, a couple of times, I will put that stone close to me so I can feel the vibrations. If it's putting it in a um, necklace or a bracelet, putting it in my purse or putting it in my pocket, somewhere that it's really, really close to me so I can feel the vibrations of the stone and it's going to change as I'm around someone negative. If I'm around someone negative and I've asked it to remove that, it's going to be pushing back that negative energy where I'm gonna feel like, oh, something's wrong with this. And it's that energy from our stone that's going to help keep that energy away from us so it's not blocking or evading our good energy.